This is Twit. Uh, so the tip of the week is about the Fall Creators Update. Um, if you want to get this thing immediately, you can. And as we pointed out earlier, actually a lot of people are seeing it right in Windows Update, which is, you know, actually kind of incredible. So I'm check that first. Yep. Uh, but if you want to force the issue, which, you know, as Mary Jo said, you probably shouldn't. But if you want to, um, you can. And you just go to the Windows download site. You can download the ISOs. You can download the or use that tool to get the um, install media going on USB, however you want to do it. Um, you just really need the ISO. Double click on it, run setup. You'll upgrade to the latest version. So you can get it. If you want it immediately, you can get it. Um, if, however, you want to defer it, you can. Of course, it's a lot easier if you're running Windows 10 Pro because Windows 10 Pro and Enterprise actually include that functionality built in. I'm just going to look at the screen because it's a little convoluted, but... If you go into Settings, Update and Security, Windows Update, there's an Advanced Options option. Um, this changed a lot in the Creators Update. Uh, before, it had very different options. But now, there's actually an option that says, a feature update includes new capabilities and improvements. It can be deferred for this many days. And there's a drop-down. And you can actually defer this thing. It's incredible, but for up to 365 days. So if you wanted to take a year and not get this, you could do that. You could put it in one month, two months, whatever you want to do. Um, you can also, by the way, defer quality updates for up to 30, I'm sorry, yeah, quality updates uh, for up to 30 days, uh, also new to the creator's update. So if you don't think you want it, you know, you could do that. Um, the other option that would kind of get this done is the pause updates feature. You can pause updates temporarily for up to 35 days. I actually don't recommend that because that will also pause uh, security updates, which are part of those quality updates. Um, you're better off deferring just the feature updates if that's what you want to do and how long does it oh, take I'm, sorry. I, I'm, I'm in i'm about a third of the way through the install it takes a while yeah 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 it's so a big it's, it's a big it's, update. it's an hour or two yeah um if you're on windows 10 home however you will not see this option in fact if you click on advanced options or whatever you'll see a screen that basically has nothing on it there's nothing there well there's a few things there but nothing related to this um so unfortunately you have to go back to that workaround that we've used in the past um which is to configure your wireless interface your wireless adapter as a metered connection in this case microsoft will not down, uh, download updates because it thinks you're paying you know for, for the bandwidth um, the trouble with that workaround is that it also means you won't get security updates so perhaps a better option would be you can kind of manually just say no to the update um, actually no you can't on windows 10 home never mind <laughs> this is pretty much it so Unfortunately, you don't have a lot of good options on Windows 10 Home. Uh, and I assume that's true Windows 10S, although I've not tried on Windows 10S yet. But I will do that.